Georgetown Railroad. Um, we're at the Silver Plume. So, so we're going to ride a train today? We're going to ride a train today. Okay. What do you want, baby? Doesn't matter to me. Let's do an unroof. We'll see what it's like. Well, we could sit in the caboose mm. at the end of the train. <laughs> that way we can have a little bit of sun. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's all. You're not quarter, you're full. That's my right. husband. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I guess they didn't tell you when you go grab your ticket. We don't let anybody on the train who's got a better looking gear than me. Uh, you'll have to step off this. Oh, he said that you have a a better looking beard. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'd rather have one that's a little bit longer. I Me keep too. on cutting it because she keeps on grabbing it. Keeps on... <laughs> All right, Daddy, where do you want to sit? It's just... Where? Let's go back. I think it's getting full back there. I think getting a... I think... Here. So it's either this car or the next car. I think the roof will be just fine. Do you... Let's just see what's back there. Perfect. You want this one? Yeah, perfect. All right. <laughs> Got three blasts on a locomotive whistle or a horn and train saw. It does mean that train is now moving backwards. You might be wondering why are we going backwards out of our head instead of going forwards? Well, the answer to this is quite simple. You see the valley out here in our silver plume yards. It's actually so narrow we can't turn the entire train around and run any of our locomotives. Up and down hill we will pull our train going in reverse. Then we get, when we get down to the bottom of the hill at Devil's Gate Station, we'll run around the rest of the train and we'll pull our train going forwards. Now that we are ready to go riding on today, let's do it for the second day. Let's do it for the first mountain, let's do it for the first mountain, let's do it for the first mountain, let's do it for the first mountain. Also, don't listen to me now, for sure. The first mountain railroad in this area, there's a car rider on the Central Railroad. Let's take the down in Denver, 1870. We <laughs> came out west over following Clear Creek, following the, going through the towns of Arvada, Cleveland, and Idaho Springs. Finally reached Georgetown in 1877. The GBNL was then tasked with continuing this line west through the Continental Divide.
guys on board the left hand side of our train real closely. You'll see our secretary hop back on board our train. We don't recommend you guys doing this. Unless you become a conductor or a brakeman like ourselves. Go to blast on 40's whistle, the port is back on board, and then we're going to get the train back up to track speed once again. Thank 
crossing signals here in the United States, this also works code for the letter Q. You might be wondering, what does the letter Q have to do with railroading? Our train has just been pulling in to our Devil's Gate station, and here in just a few moments, it pushes the Eastern Canada terminus on our railroad. Do you want to see the train? But please make sure to wave hi to our engineer and fireman. Our Do you want to see it? Is Jimmy. Here. And our fireman today is Kaden. You're not going to be able to see that side. Do you want to move? Three blasts on a locomotive's whistle were on a... Or excuse me, three blasts on a locomotive's whistle were on a train dock and it's just... And that train is now moving backwards. 
Why are we still going backwards if we're supposed to be going back up to Melbourne Center for Now the answer is this place is Baldwin. No, we're not getting a running start at the hill. Our 103 year old street walk on it has enough point power to get it to the streets of anywhere on this railroad. The reason why we back out of our station is so that we can give everybody a clear and sweet drive over the first town of the railroad. Without crossing our name for the, the bridge, we won't tie the non burden loop the loop of which this railroad was made for. The loop in railroad terms that means when a set of the train tracks is crossed over by an upper set of train tracks. It, the example of this is right here with our high bridge. Now, a few more fun facts about our bridge as we cross underneath. Do you see the bridge? Back here, let's play the original bridge. This is the winners of the 1883 and 1884 at a cost of $250,000. We were torn up in silver scrap in 1939, and here we sent for beers at $650. Now this new bridge that you see here was built 100 years later after the original bridge, thanks to a donation of a million dollars from the Texas Foundation. Not like the original bridge, which was built out of gas and wrought iron, this new bridge is built out of hydro, steel, and concrete. And it's actually five times stronger than the original bridge. Which is a good thing, as the old towers would report the old bridge went straight from side to side and sag in the middle as trains went over it. When we go over this bridge again, I can guarantee you guys it does not stay as much. I'm just kidding, guys. Off the microphone and let 40 do all the talking for me on the uphill trip. I do have one request for everybody on board the train. Please get your tickets. Ready for the
ริเตกที่อาร์ตเต็กันอย่างเ
Are you guys having fun? We are having fun. Are you having fun? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, folks. Get your Although next time we sit on that side, the yeah. Mm -hmm.
someone's paper. We are sorry to see you, sir, but we do have you on the seat for us to arrive this morning. Please take this last minute to check the area around where you're seated and make sure we have all of your questions today. Anything else you want to know about this for my friends and friends? I know, I'm sorry, but we'll have some more in the Washing uh, coal ashes out of our hair for a while. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Thanks, girls. Thanks for enjoying my further than the craziness. Huh. Maybe don't play life. Life fans us. He's having a problem. He did say. Does he make a post on it? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Have a good day. We will, thank you. Well, it's warmed up now. Ooh, somebody got their hair caught. Yeah. That's a nice uh, gift shop in Trevor. <laughs> Oh, that right there is in there. Mm. Yeah, you can drop me. Hold on. Mm. 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 Mm.